What's up guys? It's been so long since we've done one of these videos, but we're back. We want to take you to a new coffee shop that just kind of opened up. Come join us. here at a new coffee shop called Spokesman uh -huh, and it just opened up like a month ago if you haven't noticed we're not coffee gurus so we're going to go introduce you to the coffee guru of Spokesman let's go find where she is when uh, should we go to the patio should we go okay you know what there's a patio here too let's go Okay. Right, do you want to scooch? We can just, I can just <laughs> Tell us about your coffee program here. <laughs> okay. We roast all our coffees in house. Um, Ethan Billups is our coffee roaster. From the beginning, rather than doing like 10 different coffees, we wanted to start off with two different coffees um, that were gonna be really, really solid. Right now we have the Mexico Chiapa. So if like you want something more comforting, nice and mellow, uh, you do the Mexico. If you want something fruity and brighter, Ethiopia Guji. Both give really good choices for wherever you stand on the coffee spectrum. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> We're just in the back. Jocelyn is just showing us where they store their coffee beans. We found our friend Kathy. Hi. Describe this place for us. <laughs> it's grungy, but it's not. It's definitely clean and nice, but there's um, a lot of street art. There's graffiti. The bathroom looks super awesome. So I'm here in the bathroom, and I wanted to show you guys the artwork. Um, this is all hand-painted artwork and it's really fun and it's a little bit more mellow than the artwork that you find outside. So I just wanted to show you guys that. But yeah, lots of wood and kind of slightly industrial, but definitely street art vibes. That was great. You know what, you guys should just come here for yourselves and just make your own assessment about this place. Because personally, we really enjoy the feeling of just the openness. And it's just a really fun vibe overall. A lot of uh, tables, a lot of uh, bar seating. So you won't really have a problem finding a place to sit. Mm -hmm. So you guys come and you guys make the judgment. But for us, we really like this place. So on top of coffee, they also have a really good variety of teas. They have your standard iced teas, like green tea and black tea. And then they also have um, two different teas. This one's the Immortal Dew. It comes from trees that are 500 years old, so it's pretty special. Cheers. Um, and then the other tea that they have is called the Rain Butter. Um, we both really like this one. I kind of think it tastes a little bit more like sweet potato. <laughs> I think it's good. Okay. They're not a coffee person. If you come here, you will get very good quality tea. So on top of their coffee and tea, they also have a variety of food options that come from Crema. Your baked goods, sandwiches, so you can come here for lunch too. They also have a big variety of beer that are all from Texas at the moment, and they also sell wine and cider. They also have special events at night during every one event during the every day. They have a different event for every day of that's, the week. That's what I mean. Thank you guys so much for watching. Just come check this place out. Let us know what you like about it. Um, make sure to give Jocelyn and Ethan uh, a shout out. If you see them, tell them that we you know, sent you guys. Mm -hmm. oh, I forgot to mention my favorite drink here. Whenever I come here, I always get the Toddy Spokesman. So if you're ever here and you like cold brews, ask for the Spokesman Toddy. Okay? Okay, see ya. It's a little bit of a drive for me, but I would definitely come back here again because it's really close to me, so I come here pretty often.